As more and more of our first earning season begins to elapse, day by day, week by week, month by month, a lot of you have a tremendous amount of anxiety about wanting to capitalize on the first big earning season of the year, and actually the biggest earning season of the year. The second one comes after, towards the end of July, but definitely after Independence Day. So let me share with you what a lot of our centers that we work with are having success with right now. And I'm going to narrow it down to two specific items and give you some running commentary as we go along with this. Our centers that are beating last year for the same week, beating last year for the same month, already projecting uh, increased sales for the month of March, even though we don't even have a full week under our belt, and are getting record-setting lead generation responses and an unprecedentedly high close rate. There's two fundamental things that they're doing that branches off of one concept. And the concept is you must absolutely, positively abandon the way you think as a consumer. Unless you are currently overweight or obese, you can't relate. The things that you may do as a consumer don't necessarily jive with the way an overweight or an obese consumer, or at least a prospective overweight or obese consumer, will respond. Two cases in particular. Number one, let's deal with Facebook. This has been a kooky couple of weeks with Facebook. Let me tell you why. Our office has been training a number of frontline staff on Facebook, and what we discovered was nobody uses it. Now, when I say nobody uses it, the people in the office don't use it. It's not part of their everyday, and that's fine. But Facebook is the greatest gift to the weight loss clinic or the weight loss industry we could have ever gotten. It gives someone who, by tradition, is not social. They're somewhat, their self-esteem is shot or they're somewhat backward socially. It gives them the opportunity to be incredibly social without being seen. These are the people you see pictures of where it's just one eye, or it's from the nose up, or it's a picture of the cat, or their dog, or a potted plant, or something. They want to be engaged, but they don't want to be seen. But Facebook allows them to do that. It allows them to participate and have a window on the world. Now, your team, in fact, you may not even, depending on your role in your weight loss clinic, your medical practice, your chiropractic office, your weight loss center, you may not engage in Facebook, and that's fine. And that's a perfect example of you need to abandon the way you behave as a consumer and embrace the way an overweight or obese consumer behaves. So the first thing you need to do is embrace Facebook. And there are scores and scores of tools that do not require you to spend money doing it to build an audience so that you can begin to generate inquiries, phone calls, and ultimately sales directly from your engagement with individuals in your market area on Facebook. So that's number one. You got to get your arms around it. And you can't say things like, uh, you know, I don't do that, or I don't participate in that, or I'm so over that. Who cares what you think? It's what your consumers, your prospective consumers are thinking and where they are and what they're doing. So unless you have all the money you want and you're perfectly fine with your metrics, take another look at the way Facebook behaves. Number two, right now, and actually it started late last fall, right after the election, and it has continued through January, and all indications are it's continued through February, Right now, he or she who offers credit the firstest and the fastest wins the mostest. Let me go through that with you one more time. He or she who offers credit the fastest to the most people wins. It's that simple. Whether it's a uh, department store or an auto store or a car lot, uh, a vacation package, or a weight loss clinic. Listen. More and more consumers are going to whomever will grant them credit. So I'm going to invite you to also abandon, abandon the way you think about the way people spend money. If you're not offering credit, regardless of credit standing, credit risk issues, regardless of that, and if, if you're not offering some tort, sort of guaranteed credit approval program, you're going to be left in the dust by your competition. More and more companies are getting in line with what we introduced two years ago to our clients and really accelerated it last summer. And for those that did it, oh my goodness, 
But we're not talking about 15% increases. We're not even talking about 20% increases. We've got some clients that have done more by the end of February than they did by the end of April last year. And it doesn't mean they gave people credit. It doesn't mean they even used lending that we recommended and provided introductions to. It just means they let people know it was there and the people came in flocks and drove themselves directly to, whether it was Facebook, uh, some sort of click pay-per-click campaign, responding to advertising and traditional media. Somehow they responded. So abandon the way you think as a consumer. Make sure you've got your arms around Facebook and get that, regardless of credit status, lending out there for your clients, your prospective clients, patients, members, whatever you call them in your center. If you'd like more information on either of those things, we are an expert in it in terms of introducing you to techniques and approaches and tools and vendors and lenders and everything else you could possibly need to get the highest return for the least amount of money. If you have any questions, click us or call us.